Here, and while I think on. Hey, what's this? You give us a Christmas card. Oh. Oh, hey. You're one today. Here, we're about this time, you know. Just after breakfast, when... I can remember thinking when I held them for the first time that I won't ever be this happy again. Anyway, uh, Merry Christmas from all of us. Uh, it's nothing to shout about. It's just our way of saying thank you. Oh, well, there were no names. Yes, there was. It means a lot to me, this having us round for Christmas, and it's much more of a Christmas for these than I could have ever done. And it would have made Judy happy. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'll go put it in the dining room, then everybody will be able to see it. <laughs> oh. Pie, go and stand on the corner. I don't know. Why did the pie go and stand on the corner? Uh, because he was meeting Potato. Oh, <laughs> oh I can see Ken Barlow's going to have a lot to answer for. <laughs> well, come on, Jack. It's time to do the honours. Uh, well, it's about time to. Uh, I think I should do the blessing first. You are? Oh, thank you, Lord, for two days free of low fat food. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I'm still keeping my eye on you. I'm not having you spoiling Christmas by having heart attacks. Vera, I wouldn't dare. Uh, it looks fabulous, Vera. Uh, he will get stuck in, Gary. Thank you. And put me down for washing up, it's only fair. Hey, can I have a leg? Of course you can. Grab one, son. Uh, oh, that's that. It's all right, I'll give it. Hey, perhaps it's someone after a room. What, at Christmas? Tell them there's no room at the inn. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, what are you doing here? It's Christmas. I thought I'd surprise you. Some surprises I can do without. Oh, come on, Dad. Look, I don't want to hear it. As God is my judge, you are not welcome in this house on Christmas Day or any other day. Look, I know we've had our problems, Dad, but, uh, well, that's the reason I'm here, to try and put them behind us. It's what Christmas is for, isn't it, eh? Families. I'd better go. You sit down, lad. If anybody's going, it's him. No, Jack, I don't know if I could control myself any longer, lad. It'd be best if I went. Yeah, Tyrone. See you, Gary. I'm sorry, Gary. It was going to be a lovely day. Can't you stay? Oh, don't worry, Vera. It's not your fault. Thanks again for everything that you've done. Well, don't forget the presses. Oh, no. You're right. Going against Trouble. your blood. Trouble Trouble everywhere you go, Jack. Thanks again. You're welcome, lad. Look, Gary, there's, uh, there's no need to go, Don't mate. You shut up, you! The only one that's going is you! I, I know it must be hard for you, and I'm really sorry about your wife, mate. You what? But you've got to see that well, what happened, it had, it had nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with you? You sold that shed to your mum and dad. <laughs> there was nothing wrong with that motor that I knew about. It was two wrecks welded together, and you know it was. What are you calling me? Do you really think that would knowingly sell me my own mother a death trap? Yes, and tell her she was getting a bargain. Look, mate, you've got to understand that nobody was to blame for what happened. It, it was just, well, it, it was just Judy's time. <laughs> Jack, do some it! <laughs> 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 Should be you that's six feet on the not Judy. Oh, I'm. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm sorry, Vera. I really am. Happy now, are you? You've done all your damage. You can go and crawl back under your stone. Yeah, I'll leave off, will you? I'm hurting. I'm gonna go and take Monica for a walk. I think she's got scared with all the shouting and stuff. Ah, go on, lad. You go. Look what you've done. I ain't had it a day. It was beautiful. Gary bought it, me. <laughs> Probably weren't worth much then, would it? Well, don't worry, I'll buy you a new one better than that. Cut crystal. How do you like that? I don't care how much it cost. I don't care if it were left over from a jumble sale. You couldn't buy me up better with a, a suitcase full of dirty money. Well, suit yourself then. But you saw him. It was him that started throwing the punches. I don't blame him. Hang on. 
I was just trying to calm the waters. Calm the waters? If you hadn't wanted to make a fast buck out of your own mother by selling her a, a death trap, that lad would have been at home today with his wife celebrating Christmas and their two babies, their first birthday. But he hasn't got a wife anymore. And the only memories that them kids are going to have of the mother is what they get from the family album. I'm going to Gary's now. Make sure he's all right. And what about me? I've been assaulted. And when I get back, I want you gone. You understand? I get the picture. Turning your back on your own son. Turning me back? You don't know the half of it. Then calming waters you were on about. I wish I'd have drowned you in them at birth. You're lucky he left him in one piece. He lost his wife because of you. I had no to do with it. You make it sound like I was driving a flaming car. Also, it was my fault, Warren. I didn't say that. You scum. You're evil, you evil. Everything you touch turns rotten. Yeah? Well, it must be the way I've been brought up. I want you out of this house now. Listen, Mum. No, I've listened to your your excuses and lies long enough. And I'm not listening anymore. In fact, I don't want to hear another word. If you're the best we could get for a son, I, I wish I'd never had you. You don't mean that. Oh, God forgive me. I, I don't want to set eyes on you again. Well, listen, you're Mum. You're a disease, Terry. You filthy scum. I can't bear to look at you. Mum, listen. Look, get out. Get out. Get out of this house. Right, uh, look. I'm, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going. 